All right, today we'll be changing the oil on this 2004 Accord EX. So come on, I'll show you how I do it. We'll put the emergency brake on so it doesn't go anywhere because we're going to lift the car up. And we'll go ahead and chalk the wheels so they don't go anywhere. All right, to do this job, you're going to need five quarts of 5W20 oil for this vehicle. You can see here's the Honda stuff. It's a synthetic blend. You don't have to use a Honda stuff. Just make sure any oil you get has the uh, for gasoline engine starburst there. And make sure it has a API service rating of SN on there. As long as you got those, you're good to go. And then you're going to need a oil filter. This is the Honda oil filter. This is the 15400 PLM A01. There's also an A02. They're both the same oil filter. Um, Honda uses these oil filters on just about every car they have. Um, the only difference between the A1 and the A2 is the manufacturer. Filtech makes the A1 and uh, Honeywell makes the A2. I kind of prefer the Filtech a little bit better. It seems like a little bit better quality, but they'll both work. Um, you're going to need a new drain washer right here uh, for the drain plug. And then you need some kind of wrench usually to get the uh, oil filter off. So there's a couple styles here. This one is the Honda one right there that fits right over the end. That's probably the one I'm going to use. So, and, and uh, you also need uh, a 17 millimeter wrench or ratchet. So that's all you need. Not too difficult a job. Let's get started. And while I'm thinking of it, there's a side that usually is smoother and has a little bit of a bevel. And then on the other side, it's going to be a little bit flatter. This machine side that's a little bit flatter is going to go against the oil pan. So make sure you put it against the oil pan like that. And you can see under the hood right here, there's the cap where you're going to fill the oil from. And as you can see, it's clearly marked 5W20, so in case you forget what oil to use. Usually most oil caps on Hondas are going to be marked. And then here's your dipstick where we're going to check it. And from the front of the vehicle, if you look right under here, you can see there's an arrow right here. That arrow is pointing right here. That's where we're going to jack the car up. So we'll jack the car up here and then put it on the jack stands. You can see right here in the front of the vehicle behind the tires. Right there, that's the bracket where the jack stand needs to go on. Put it right underneath there, just like that. Do the same thing with the other side, and then we'll let it down. Don't ever get under the vehicle with, uh, without having jack stands under it. You're going to need some kind of drain pan to catch all the oil. And I also recommend you wear a pair of gloves to keep from getting the contaminants of the used oil on your skin. And safety glasses if you're going to be getting under the vehicle. Use safety glasses so you don't get anything in your eyes. Alright, as you can see, here's the oil pan right here. There's the drain bolt for the oil. You'll just need a 17 millimeter, either wrench or a socket like this, and just break it loose. Just like that. Get, a, get your drain pan nearby. And be ready to get out of the way of the stream of the oil. Just like that. And just let the oil drain into your pan. It's going to be warm because you should have warmed the engine up. That way it'll uh, allow all the impurities to filter out. All right. Usually the oil filters in there are in there, and they're too tight to remove by hand. Most of the time, you can't get it off by hand. You need a wrench, and so I'm using the Honda wrench. So it just goes on like that, and the drive shaft is about right here. So this setup right here will allow me to get right around the drive shaft and get this out with ease. I can just do it like that. So that's the setup I'm going to use. You can see there's the there's a drain pan with the bolt. I just set it back in there so it doesn't drip on me while I film this. But you can see there's the filter right up there. I'll just go right above with my wrench here. Just twist it off, just like that. And then just be careful because some oil is going to come out. Move the pan. And we'll just take it off like that and let the oil drip into the pan.
That's the fun part, where the oil comes out when you're spinning off the filter. And we'll just let that finish draining here for a few more minutes. All right, with a clean rag, just go up here and clean the mating surface where the uh, gasket goes for the oil filter. It goes against the block here. And feel around, make sure that the gasket is not still attached. You want to make sure it's with the filter. And while we're thinking of it, yep, the gasket's right there on the filter, so we're good. All right, I don't know if you can see it, but I got a bunch of oil right there on the, my glasses, right where my eyeballs would have been. That's why you wear your safety glasses. All right, here's the drain plug. Let's go ahead and remove the old, old washer and make sure we put the flat side to the top so it mates against the uh, oil pan like that. All right, we'll just open up the new filter. And take a little bit of oil. Preferably clean oil. Put it on the mating surface right here. This will ensure that you get it off the next time. All right, when it's down to a slow drip with your new washer, Go ahead and put the drain plug in. Get it snugged up like that. We'll torque it to 33 foot-pounds here in a second. That just ensures that the oil won't be dripping on us. Wipe up any mess you made. And we'll go ahead and take our filter. And we'll reach up here. We'll spin it on. Just spin it on by hand. And as soon as you feel it touch right there, we're going to go three quarters. And usually you can do it by hand, and right when it gets tight, then it's good. That's perfect. All right, with your torque wrench, we're going to torque it to 33 foot-pounds. It's probably very close to where we just snugged it up. You can see it was right there. 33 foot-pounds isn't very much. All right, pull your drain pan out, and uh, make sure you clean up any mess that you, uh, any drips that you made. And we'll go ahead and lower the vehicle and get some oil in this vehicle. And don't forget to pull the chocks off your vehicle, wheels, very important. All right, now we'll just take the cap off. Put a little funnel in there so we won't make a mess. And this vehicle, this engine, takes 4.4 .4 quarts of oil. All right, here's number one. Quart number two. Alright, quart number three. And quart number four. And quart number five. We'll only put about half of this in here. Alright, now we'll now we'll run the engine and check the oil.
we'll go ahead and make sure it shows some oil on there on the dipstick. And we do. Shows that it's slightly overfilled, but that's because there's no oil in the filter yet. We'll go ahead and fire up the car and let it run for a couple minutes, and then we'll recheck it. Okay, we let the vehicle run for about three minutes. Honda recommends you run the vehicle three minutes afterwards. We'll shut it off and we'll let it sit for a couple minutes and then we'll check the oil level again. All right, now we'll go ahead and check the oil level. And I don't know if you can see on there, it's exactly halfway. So 4.4 quarts, which is what Honda recommends, that's what they say, puts it right exactly in the middle. And Honda says anywhere in the middle or anywhere in between the two dots is good. I'm going to put a little bit more and get this up to the top, top of the dot, but anywhere in there you're good. And we've got about a half a quart left. And in between those two dots is about a half a quart. So we're going to put the rest of this quart in here for a total of five quarts. So if you just dump five quarts in here, you should be good to go. And the reason I'd rather have it at the upper level than the bottom level is this: these uh, 2.4 engines have a timing chain. And the bottom of the chain, run, when the vehicle's running, goes into the oil. So if your oil level starts dropping down, you could starve your... Uh, chain of oil. Next thing you know you'll you'll have a stretched uh, timing chain and you'll be putting in a new timing chain. Alright, we'll do one final check now that we put that last half a quart in. Now you can see it's all the way up to the top dot right on the money. So there you go. You see how easy it is to change the oil on your car. And don't forget to recycle your old used engine oil. Most uh, auto parts stores will take it for free. Check over your work. Make sure you don't miss anything. Look under the vehicle. Make sure you don't have any leaks. And if this uh, video helped you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.